Summarizing p-values with asterisks has become an extremely common practice. Asterisks are used in a statistical analysis to indicate the level of significance. And although there's a bit of variation in how these asterisk summaries are defined, most of them follow a very similar pattern. While it can be useful to show more than one asterisk to indicate a stronger level of significance, it's sometimes unnecessary and can overly complicate the graphical display if the only thing that you want to convey is whether or not the p-value is below alpha. Moreover, the interpretation of the classic asterisk summaries becomes a bit more complicated when alpha isn't set to its common value of 0.05. PRISM's new one or none p-value style provides a simpler and cleaner way to display the statistical results on your graph. It displays a single asterisk if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, and displays ns for not significant if it's above. PRISM defaults to an alpha threshold of 0.05, but you can choose your own alpha threshold if a value different from 0.05 is more appropriate for your project. Showing up to four asterisks is still a default for most analyses in PRISM 10, but this new approach offers an alternative, simpler way to report statistical results and display asterisks on graphs. If you use the false discovery rate for the multiple comparison correction, the new one or none p-value style is always used. Note that in this case, NS is replaced with ND to indicate no discovery.